so hello and welcome to another lesson so this happens to be the 10th lesson right in our study of topology one and know that in our previous video we we're talking about metrics and information and we talked about the harming distance then we said in this video we'll be talking about the Levenstein distance okay so Please don't forget to like the video and please subscribe to the channel. So, after going through this concept, um, the goal is we would want to solve this question here. This exercise here that a word was badly misspelled as to put a green. Suppose that a spell checker changes the word to a word in its database. That is the least Levenstein distance away from the misspelling which of the following would the spell checker pick as the intended way? So, is it topography, topology, or tautology? So, after going through the concept, you should be able to solve that particular question, okay? Mm. That's the reason why we are here, right? So, don't worry. Let's start and we'll get to that, please. So, let's take some definition. So, the Levenstein distance between two words is the minimum number of single character edits. Thus, in sections, deletions, or substitutions, required to change one word into the other. Okay, so take note of this definition. We are going to explain it as we move ahead. So, we have two words. And you want to change one into the other. We can perform three operations on um, the word we want to change into the other way. That's we can insert certain elements, delete, and also replace. Right. So we have three operations. So the minimum number of ways in which we can do this is what we call the Levenstein distance. Okay. So as I said, we allow three types of operations on X. So that's we can insert any letter into X. Then we can delete any letter in X and we can replace any letter with a different letter. So know the three operations that we do. So we do insertion, deletion, and replacement. Okay. So the underline words here. So please, they are just these three. Let's stick to them. So let is here represent the number of insertions in the sequence and let ds represent the number of deletions and we let rx represent the number of replacements so the total number of operations to turn x into y is the sum of ix dx and rs so there are many different choices of the sequences of operations to turn x into y. So we therefore we have to define the distance between x and y as follow. Okay. So now let's define the Levenstein distance mathematically. So the Levenstein distance between sequences x and y is given by the minimum, right? The minimum of the sum of the three operations so always we go in for the minimum you know there are different ways in which you can change one word into the other but we are interested in the minimum number of ways okay so the keyword here is the minimum so where the minimum is taken over all sequences star that turn x into y so like i said the important keyword is that we are interested in the minimum so let's um, use the sequences of DNA nucleotide to explain the concepts, okay? So um, we have X and we have Y. Then it says we should visually, visually inspect X and Y and determine the Levenstein distance between X and Y and the Harman distance between X and Y. So we talked about the Harman distance in the previous video. You can find the link in the description area so let's do that so you know we have x 
and we have y so you want to turn x into y okay so <clears throat> this is our x and you want to turn this x to look like this y here so you could see that they have some similarities and they have some differences so you want to measure the distance between them we are going to use the um, Levenstein distance okay <clears throat> so you could see that the first letter in both of them we have a and we have a here but we have c and we have g here but we want to have j right so the first thing that we do is to insert j so no replace c with j so we replace this c with j so when we do that replacement we are going to get a j right so now we replace this c with j then j c c j a a T A C. Then you can see now we have A J J, but here we have A J J J three genes here. So the best thing we can do is to insert another gene here. So we are going to get A J J J T T J A A T A C. So now let's check something. You could see that with the y we have a here we have a we have j we have j here we have j another j here j j here t t here t t here then we have j a a we also have j a a then we have t and a but here we have t a and c so that means that before this can look like this we have to delete the c All right so the third point says we should delete the c the third step so now we have a j j j t t j a a t a so you can see now we've been able to turn this x here into y right this is y so we ask ourselves how many steps how how many processes did we go through to achieve this and you could see it was just three one two and three all right and this happens to be the minimum if you try to go through there are other ways you can get this done but the minimum will always be three ways and when it comes to the levenstein distance we are always interested in the minimum right so you can do this in five steps in seven steps in ten steps but the minimum will always be 3, and that's the Levenstein distance. So that means that, hence, for this particular question, the Levenstein distance denoted as D subscript L between X and Y is 3. Okay. So you can go through that. So note that the Levenstein distance is used for spell checking, speech recognition, and plagiarism detection. So it is just one of a variety of metrics researchers are using for DNA sequence comparison analysis. So now, this brings us to our question here. So um, you could see that sometimes when you are typing in your MS word, right? Um, sometimes instead of typing a particular word. You type a wrong one and you can see that word will underline it with a red ink right then when you right click on it there will be suggestions as to whether you wanted to type those ones and you misspelled them right so how is the program able to maybe let's say you spell something like you wanted to spell something like um mango by you spelled mangi how would um the spell checker be able to change the word into mango for you and know that it is mango you intended to spell the not mangi right so there's one of the application of metric spaces so particularly then 
living side distance and we are going to use that concept to um, solve this exercise here so the question says a word was badly misspelled as chiputagri suppose that a spell checker changes the word to a word in its database that is the least Levenstein distance away from this misspelling. Which of the following will the spell checker pick as the intended word? To so, topography, topology, or tautology. So, um, solution. Before we can know which of the ways, okay, we would have to find the Levenstein distance by considering the following. So, this is our x. Right, then these here are going to be our y's the topography, topology, tautology. Right, so we will take x and compare it with each of them. So this will be the first thing we will do, then this will be the second thing we will do, then this will be the third thing we will do. So we find the Levenstein distance between um, for all these three. Okay, so the one which is the least then that means it is that word which will be picked by the spell checker okay i hope you get the concept All right so when we take the first one you know our x is chiputa green and our y is topography so we want to look at the number of ways the steps the minimum right the minimum number of ways in which we can change chiputa green to topography right so that is what we want to do. So now, this is the word. Chiputagri. How can we change that to topography in the least number of ways? So the first thing that we can do is to replace this U with O. So when we do that, we are going to get topo. Sorry. So... The X is Chiputa Green. Okay, so the first thing that we do is replace the U with O. So this will be Topo Tagri. I hope you get it. Alright, so now we have Topo, we also have Topo here. So how can we change the Tagri here to something like Graphy? Okay, in the least number of ways. So we replace the T with a J. So we are going to get Topo Ga Gui. <laughs> Funny word, right? <laughs> so that's the process we are going through. Then after that, we insert R in between J and A. So we are going to get Topo Gra Gui. Alright, so we've done three steps. We've still not gotten topography. But I see we've gotten something close, right? So the next thing is that um we replace the J with P. So now we are going to get topo gra. So instead of J we have P. Right? Then now the only difference between this and the Y here is the H here. So we replace our R with H. And this will give us topo graphy. So you can see now we have been able to change the X, which was Chiputa Green, into topography. Right? And the number of steps was um five. So one, two, three, four, five. So that means that the Levinstein distance, right, between those two ways is five. So that's for the first one. So now let's go to the second one. So the second one is between Chiputagri and topology. I hope so far you've enjoyed the study of topology. <laughs> All right. So um, the first thing we do is that we replace U with O. So this is Chiputagri. We want to change it to topology. All right. So we have to replace the U here to O so that we have something like topo, topo. So this will be topo tagri now right so 
um, the next thing that we can do is to replace the T with L. So when you place the T here with L, you're going to get to po la gui. And as to whether you're going to replace U with O, replace T with L and the rest. Because with that one, it depends on you. You have to like think about how to um, change the X into Y in the least number of ways. So sometimes you can try the first one, you get 7. You try the second one, you get 5. You try the third one, you get 4. You try and try again, you still get 4. So that means 4 will be the least, okay? But with this, I've done it several times and I know the least. That's the reason why I go straight for it. So... It's not sometimes that easy to get the least number of ways. Sometimes you might get something you think that's the least, but no, that wouldn't be the least. So you have to be very, very vigilant when you are doing that. The next one is to replace the E with O. So we are going to get to four. Instead of this E, we replace it with O. Then you could see the only thing is our R here. When we take this one off, then we have topology. So we delete R. Then now we have topology. So you can see we went through four steps, right? To be able to change um to put agree to topology. So that means the Levenstein distance between those two words is four. And note that we've been doing just three operations. We've been replacing, inserting, and deleting. Those are the only three operations which are allowed. We've already talked about that. So <coughs> this one is four. Then now the last one is between the Pythagorean and tautology. So you could see that um we have the Pythagorean, right? And then we have tautology. We want to change this the Pythagorean to tautology. So the best thing to do is to insert a in between the T and U. So we have to because we've inserted a so to po ta Green. Then we want to have something like toto, right? So what we can do is replace this P here with a T, right? And that will be to. Sorry, so that will be to to ta green. So we want tautology, right? So that means um, we can replace the T here with an L. And that will give us to, to, la, gui. We can replace the E here with an O. And that will give us to, to, lo, gui. And then we can simply take this R away. So we delete this R. We are going to have to, to, lo, gui. So you can see we went through how many steps. One, two, three, four, five. So that means the Levenstein distance between those two words is five. So you could see that um, when you went through the ways um, between the Levenstein distance for this, we had five, this we had four, and this we had five. So the least of them is what? The four. So that means the spell checker is going to choose topology. Okay, so in conclusion, the word checker or spell checker, any of them, would pick topology as the intended word. Okay, so that's how our computers have been choosing some words for us when we spell them um, wrong. Okay, when we, we spell them. So thank you very much for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like it and please subscribe to the channel so that you would always be notified of future videos. Thank you very much and all the best.